wish something would happen. Me too. <laughs> you look like toothpaste. <laughs> Thank you! Ah, <sighs> this is nice. totally rinse her paintbrush and her tea again. <laughs> That's twice this week. She didn't notice until she drank some. Oh. <laughs> Is that you? No. <laughs> no. Is it you? <laughs> what are you doing? Magic circle. Ah, yeah. Whoa. I know, right? Sands painting the rainbow rock. Yeah. It's an amazing rainbow. Super rainbow. Yeah. yeah. This whole thing started because back in March, Samantha wanted to make a video where, with the first video with the rocks. And so she storyboarded it and designed the characters. And then Tyler actually animated it for her. And we did the donut one back in March too. I did that one kind of trying to learn how to do some things. So then we recorded all the other ones this week and got them added them to the mix and added the second rock video so most of them were done in character animator and after effects mm. <laughs> but mm. the rock video was done in rough animator that was animated by hand by tyler it's every, and every time i did something new to the animation something big new i would call her over to just to see if i was doing what she wanted yeah so up here you have the timeline which is where you'll find all your frames and stuff and you can like switch between them and make them longer yeah. and you can have your layers and your audio and then over here you have all your buttons that do different things the like the controls. drawing controls what's the purple on the drawing that's the onion skin. Yeah. Explain how that works. It basically just shows the frames behind and in front of the frame you're currently on. Right. And the red blobs, what are they? Those are selections. Aha. Uh -huh. For like copy pasting. My favorite part is the legs. As they come down, they're like dangling and then they like scooch out as they sit. <laughs> I don't know why, but that really entertains me. And this week, when we weren't doing a video, I found a little clear white one. Yeah. And it kind of looked like old slime baby. Oh, oh, was it the one that was with the rainbow rock? Yeah, that did look like a slime baby. It was kind of a translucent, smooth little rock. Yeah. It did look like a slime baby. You're right. And then I'm animating yeah. the face of the rainbow rock. Drawing all those mouth shapes by hand. One at a time. I did the lip sync before I copied all of the other stuff. So saying like, I know, right? What's happening here, Ty? I'm making faces. So we were experimenting with a program called Character Animator. It's one of the Adobe programs. If you pay for Adobe these days for Photoshop, you get all the other programs that they make. You can't buy just one anymore. You have to get them all. So you may as well use them. And one of the newer yeah. ones is Character Animator. Yeah. So we were trying to learn how to use it. So basically the way it works is you have Puppet. Um, like a base one? 
Yeah, this is, there's a base puppet for faces and it has left pupil, right pupil, left eye, right eye, left eye lid, lid right eyelid, left eyebrow, right eyebrow, and you can download some base puppets that work with the software and then you can draw on top of them. So this is Tyler creating all of the mouth shapes and eye shapes for our characters. I basically just drew a normal face, no fancy like eyelashes or anything, just a normal dude face. And then I just copied that a bunch of times and made a girl, a crazy, a grumpy, a kid, or yeah. Yeah, so there's, there was slight changes. The girl had big lips and some eyelashes. The kid had a missing tooth. Yeah. This is in After Effects. I ended up using her eye shapes and her eye pieces for the puppet in After Effects instead of in Character Animator because mm. Character Animator was a little tough to learn in a week. <laughs> <laughs> so in After Effects you can select any layer and you can oh. um, change the size, change the position, change the rotation, change the opacity. Mm. All the little dots are places where there's changes happening along the timeline. <laughs> this is Character Animator. Yeah. So once you have your puppets drawn, thank you, Tyler. You're welcome. <laughs> then you can bring them into Character Animator. And there are several ways that you can animate in Character Animator. You can mm -hmm. have the facial recognition software can yeah. do screen capture, so you can do yeah. live animating with your own face. You just turn on your camera and it'll follow your face map like it's like an animoji where it'll map your face and then it'll animate based on the, the expressions that you're making, the direction that your eyes are looking, the direction that your head is turning, but you have to have a solid puppet that um, with all of the layers in Photoshop set up properly so that it imports into yeah. character animator correctly. <laughs> And then in Character Animator, you can edit the Vizim. So what we did instead of that was we just had it read the audio tracks because we had the audio tracks already recorded. And it came up with mouth shapes that it thought were, were right. And then I went through and I swapped some of them out. So there were places where it should have been a tss and it was doing a d. And so I'd just switch it out. A lot of times yeah. where it, was, it should have been an o and it was doing something else because the software isn't perfect. Here is the final versions of everything. So there's the first one that we made. And then here's the After Effects and, <laughs> and Character Animator ones. The new ones. Crazy! What was your favorite character to be? The toothpaste one. Why is that? Because I, I could be he like super happy. Yeah. Yeah, super happy. You were very excited. The toothpaste floaty was very excited. This one I like. This one's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. You did a really good job of pretending to be a tire swing. <laughs> yeah. I like these wind chimes. I think that this one, the animation, the mouths actually lined up really well. Some of them are a little off. This one's pretty good. And then the bells on the inside that are all listening. <laughs> the grumpy bell is my favorite. <laughs> Aw, you guys, your guitar and you are very sweet, very friendly. This is, I actually haven't dipped any paintbrushes in my drinks for like, probably 20 years, but it's a thing that happens. Artists do that all the time. Yep. Yeah. Mommy, you're, you're a good artist because you don't dip your paintbrush in your teeth. Yeah, there you go. Oh no. Cool. Stinky socks. <laughs> Stinky. Stinky crazy socks. This one, when we were animating it, we had a magnet inside of the salt shaker and the magnet underneath, and that was how we got it to move like that. Yeah. And there's the last one. I'm glad that the rock got a happy ending six months later. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this. Can you your and then, poof, you're flying through the air. Yay. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to join the guild, check out our Patreon for more fun stuff.